very interesting conversation about gender roles last episode and we're going to continue this is heaven help us and we're going to continue a deep conversation quick it's i really like good. this side of you i baby. like this side of you really yes honey nice nice and, and we got all the red cup cheers That's to the cup okay. cheers well, you know, cheers to the I got conversation some crystal downstairs. you got some crystal no i don't i don't but uh the red cup is working for you it's red cup. you know stir it up bitch stir, stir it. it up well listen getting back to the conversation that we were having I like on gender roles, mm -hmm. uh, should a man be pursued? And you know, we were just having a biblical conversation, and, 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 mm -hmm. and, and I'm gonna tell you something now. Low key, I think Ruth positioning herself was her pursuing Boaz. But should a man be pursued? And in 2020, we're looking at expectations, roles, how things are changing and evolving. What are your thoughts on that? You know, um, Y'all always say I'm old fashioned and I am. I think there's a way to pursue mm -hmm. without seeming like you're pursuing. Like I told you last time, my husband, um, you know, I liked him or whatever. He was selling, um, he, he was at Omega and he was selling Valentine's Day cards. Remember I told you that? Mm -hmm. And what I did was I sent myself 10 of them because he had to bring it to me. He feels like he pursued me. Mm -hmm. But men are not that, they're very simple people. Mm -hmm. So you can actually overthink them. Mm -hmm. and make them feel like they're pursuing you. And I think that's important. They mm -hmm. have to feel like they have the chase. Mm -hmm. And that's the caveat there. I don't think that we should pursue them outright, mm -hmm. but I think there's a way to pursue them without feeling like they're pursuing So what you're saying is you saw that man and you knew you wanted him. That was my husband. You knew it. That's right. You just felt it in your bones. That's right. I had him on my uh -huh. vision board. That sounds crazy. A I no, it wasn't him on my vision board. Everything husband. I wanted in him was on, on my, my board. When I met him, I knew that was him. Okay. Is that wrong to say? No, not at all. Okay. Not at all. I so, don't want to sound crazy, but I don't so give a damn. If, if I'm hearing correctly, you positioned yourself to be pursued. Absolutely. Okay. There's nothing wrong with that. No. I can work with it. But what do you say to those women who make the first move, who they may see a guy and they're like, hey, boy, I like you. This is my opinion, and I could be wrong because I'm not a man. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm not a man. I feel like for men, that's a, not necessarily a turn off. I think you'd have sex with me, but I think somewhere subliminally, uh -huh. you feel like, hey, you know what? She owned me. That ain't who I want. If you if you've been in a relationship or a relationship with a lot of people, when the women act like they too damn crazy about the mm -hmm. man, they don't work. Mm -hmm. The man gotta like you. The mm -hmm. man gotta love you. To, you gotta go with somebody who loves you more. Mm -hmm. And then in return, just like Jesus loves us, mm -hmm. he loves us first. So then I can return the love Nothing. that you have for me. But me pursuing you, your man will go over and say, hey, you know what, I got five, six other women that feel the same way, they pursuing me. Mm -hmm. But when the man pursues you, he feels like he has a prize, whether it's a prize or not, I don't know, mm -hmm. but it's a it's a game. It's a mind fuck game, and it really is. I already know how you're gonna answer this. Okay. What is your take on these women proposing to these men? Oh, <laughs> I think that's the worst thing you can do. Please don't do that publicly. Yeah. I just feel like that's wrong. And you know what, y'all can say what y'all wanna do. This is my damn opinion. This is uh -huh. what I would do, why oh, I wouldn't do. Y'all do what the hell y'all want to if it works for y'all work, but mm -hmm. it ain't working. Don't talk to me about mm -hmm. what y'all say, what Hamlet said, this and Hamlet, it ain't work. You propose to a man, it just, to me it takes the masculinity away. That's my opinion. Mm -hmm. Let him perform pose, but you could talk about it Mm -hmm. You could say, hey, you know what? I've always wanted some children, you know what I mean? And be married and have some kids, you know what I mean? I don't know, you know, when I'd be ready to do that, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? But th talk it up. But don't pro <laughs> No! It just, it, that, that just looked all wrong. I was like, what's she doing? It does, it, I will say this, as, as, non, as non conforming as I am, mm -hmm. that does feel. Wrong. Awkward to me. I can say wrong is strong. It does feel awkward. But let me ask you this. You know, it's 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 2020. Roles are evolving, and a lot of the gender roles that we've carried forward were based on where society was back in the day, i.e., the man paid all the bills, but that was solely because women didn't work back then. Women didn't have rights. So if they did not find somebody to pay all the bills, they did not eat. As gender roles are changing. 
who do you think they are changing in favor of, men, women, or both? I think that they are changing for both. But the reason I say that, and you know the history, the reason that women got a job because all the men went to war, right? And mm -hmm. they didn't have a choice. They had to get a job. They were taking over the men's jobs or whatever, whatever. So they became a force in society, and then they didn't stop when they came back. Mm -hmm. So we didn't have a choice. Women have a choice. Particularly in, uh, black women. Right, for providing for their family. A lot of times the men abandoned, mm -hmm. so the women had to do what they had to do. Ideally, though, what is... What women want, mm -hmm. in general, I'm going to tell you what they want. They, they might lie to you and say it's different, but I'm telling you they got a problem with it. Mm -hmm. They want a man to protect them. Mm -hmm. They want a man to provide for them, and they want a God-fearing man. I don't give a damn what nobody say. Now, we may conform because that's not happening. Mm -hmm. But let's ask and talk about what we want. Mm -hmm. And if we talk about what we want, that's what we want. We want a man that can pay all the bills. Mm -hmm. Now, I want to have the right to to decide whether I want to work or not. You, you can't tell me I can't handle a damn job. Mm -hmm. You can't do that. Or, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But, no, nah, you, you, yeah. I saw a quote on Facebook that was speaking to traditional gender roles, and then the person, it was a guy, went forward and said, considering tra traditional gender roles, what's in marriage for a man? That women gain everything. The expectation is that he's supposed to work, pay all the bills, supposed to provide. What does a streamer man? Streamer, what mm -hmm. does he gain? in the legal act of marriage. I am your queen. You don't understand. I am your queen, and if I'm your queen and you love me like Christ loved the church, you want to provide for me. If you don't want to provide for me and you feel like you ain't getting shit, you ain't the man to marry me. Okay. Please don't marry me. And I don't think I'm the most beautifulest bitch in the world, but I think I'm one of them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't think I'm the smartest bitch in the world, but I'm one of them. Mm -hmm. So when you get all that together, smartness, success, education, good looks, good mm -hmm. sex, I'm your queen, mm -hmm. and you'll do anything for your queen. The king does for his queen. He protects the king. Did I just post some lions mm -hmm. today? Mm -hmm. The king and the queen, that's what go together. But I think and when the you're people... the king, I don't give a damn about the people. <laughs> I'm, think... I'm telling you that a king loves to provide for his queen, and that's why I love mm -hmm. Dr. Eugene so much. Mm -hmm. He loves providing for that damn mm -hmm. woman, mm -hmm. and she take it shit. You know what I'm saying? But he loves doing that because he loves her as much as Christ loves the church. So as the queen, I think what I'm trying to the get to the gay, bottom of is, man? no, no, just the queen, the that's the woman. Okay. Like, when that man goes out into the world, what is he saying that he's getting in return for? Because it's got to be an exchange. You know. Whether it's intrinsic, financial, there's got to be an exchange. So what are you, as the queen, what are you giving if me? If he got to ask, I'm not even gonna let you finish that shit. If you got to ask, you don't need to get married. I love you. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? I love you more than anything else in this world. I am there for you. I got your back. If you lost your back, I'm your front. I'm gonna do everything I can because I love you. That, see, you everybody not getting this. But if you provide for me, I'm going to do whatever it takes. I give my life for you. Mm. Y'all don't understand because y'all ain't never been in love the way I'm in love. Mm -hmm. But you don't understand. That's what you're getting. You're getting unconditional love mm -hmm. from me. I got your back. I got your back. Water, bath water. I'm rubbing your back. I'm doing whatever mm -hmm. it takes to make you and keep you happy. I'm doing, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And you're giving me what I need. I'm giving you, it's a symbiotic relationship, damn it. That's deep, and you moving me right now. Especially, don't just especially say it. You somebody. You don't know what you get. No, you, you, that you, offended me. You, okay. That you don't know what you getting in return for mm -hmm. providing for me. Mm -hmm. You don't know what kind of woman I am and what I am to you. And you think about some fucking money? What you doing for me? Am I being overdressed? I'm just saying. You get what but I'm you saying. But you know what? I think. I think the but issue that's is. No, no, no. You're fine. No, 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 no. My eye was itching. I think what the issue is, especially in the black community, that we've seen so much struggle of that many of us don't have a grasp of what you just said, because I didn't. And I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be honest with you, you've got me kind of rethinking some of the ways I think about gender roles and, and relationships and providing, because I'm being Mr. Non-Traditional, I'm like, bitch, you ain't finna sit up here and parlay on my damn money, your ass gonna work and you gonna contribute something. But that was deep, what you just said, because the absent, what was absent from my critique was the fact that that unconditional love piece, which a lot of us don't see. A lot of us haven't seen and examples you know of healthy relationships. You know why y'all don't see it? Because the man 
And I'm going to put it all on the man because you the man. It's not doing what the man should do. Women would love to love their man. And do. They just don't feel safe or comfortable doing it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because there's so much bullshit out there. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because they've been hurt this many times. Because so many men are not doing what they're supposed to. But when you got a man that you can love and you feel like you, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's why I say if I am living in a complete bliss of lies, I don't want to know. You know what I'm saying? I say, mm -hmm. I love this man in unconditionally. I, I fuck you up. <laughs> you understand so how that's much why I you, love him. And so that's why you be so crazy over daddy on this that's show with them why, scribbles and, and I can't get the shit you're talking about. Everybody don't want daddy. <laughs> I get what you're saying, but I do. But I you do. don't understand. <laughs> you would never I, understand. And it's beyond. And I think my husband is beautiful yeah, in that way. Yeah, he is. And my, but my whole thing is you don't even get It's deeper yeah, than that. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm learning. It's deeper than that. I'm baby, learning. Baby, the way our souls connect. When Damon the man said I trapped him, he stood up and he said, no, she didn't trap me because she's been my wife before. I was born. Mm. She's been my wife since I was five years old. Mm. Daddy got a brother. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! I got a light in the mood. No, real, yes. real. Now, don't get me wrong. My yes. marriage ain't perfect. I ain't never putting that shit out there, but I'm not going to give you my fucking problems so we all can make it more. <laughs> right. But what I'm saying to you is I love that man unconditionally, uh -huh. and he loves me. Now, we arguing. That is powerful, don't get Heavenly. And all of that. Don't, don't think that that don't happen. Right. But what I'm saying to you in the end, that's why I can clean myself up and say on TV, even if I just got finished fussing at his ass, I get on TV and say, hey, I love my uh -huh, man, and I uh -huh. don't even like this motherfucker uh -huh. right now. That's what I'm saying. I get it. And, and you know, and it's so funny because that's why I'm glad that we do these chats because I wish. But a lot that, of people are not going to be honest with you. I wish this level of indefinite is what we would get on the show because mm. that was powerful. I what, give it what, to what, you. What you don't just, show it. What that, that was powerful what you just gave. People don't want to hear that shit. They that's, don't want to hear that. So this provides a very great segue for us to do this last little piece and we can end this video. These reality TV show relationships. Let's talk about. And I know you don't like to do this. You don't like to talk about whatever. people from other shows. We're going to talk about it. What are your thoughts on, like, Kenya and Mark on The Real Housewives of Atlanta? I, 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 I don't want to give my opinion on that. Okay, that's fair. What is your opinion on Cynthia and the new love she's found with Mike? I Hill? really think that they're in love. Uh -huh. I really do think that they make a good companionship. I think it was a blessing um, by God. I uh -huh. just feel like I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I know Cynthia. Don't get me wrong. And I've seen uh -huh. her and, and her husband. I mean, her soon to be husband. Uh -huh. And they just seem like they. And you know, Kenya too. Don't get me wrong. Uh -huh. I'm not speaking on nobody. You know, I just have my personal feelings about yep. these relationships, and I just don't want to share them with you because you know what I'm saying. Like even Portia with her man. Like, yeah, I got my opinion. Understood. But who cares? But you know what? That brings up a very valid point. Um, if a man cheats. But 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 I will say this on TV. Just like I'm typecasted or everybody is typecasted, right. I cannot make a definitive decision about uh -huh. you and your relationship because they only going to show what they want to fucking mm -hmm, show. Mm -hmm. But like I say, Quad says all the time, you can't get it if they don't give it to them. Indeed. So I've seen things you gave that make me feel like. So. So I got, what does, in your opinion, Quad's next love interest, what's the profile of her next love interest? I'm going to be honest because she on my show. Quad is very going to be very difficult to please. She's going to be very difficult. I cannot put all of that on Dr. G. I feel like she is very difficult because of what we talked about mm -hmm. earlier. It's going to be hard. It's going to be hard. Mm -hmm. Like, she want beautiful, and that's relative. She want money, and that's relative. You can't walk in a relationship feeling like you've got to get all of this, and you're not giving it in return. Mm -hmm. And I'm not saying, I don't know. But anyway, mm -hmm. it's going to be difficult. And no one quad. And, and it's hard to be a friend, goddamn, if I got to spend every <laughs> night with her. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and that's not bad. Right. That's no shade. I love her. I understand. Her. And last but not least, is there a level of cheating that's just way too much? You brought up Portia and Dennis. I didn't bring them answers up, did I? <laughs> you did. I did not. You did. And Portia's reconciling with her husband. All things constant. Had that happened to you, you've been pregnant, daddy stepped out, you found out about it. Would you have been able to reconcile in that situation? And what level of cheating is just too much that you call in a divorce attorney and you up out this bitch? First of all, I think that uh, Portia loves her husband. Mm -hmm. um, and I think he loves her. I feel like 
Yes, yes, I would have reconciled. Mm -hmm. I would have. If I love my man that much, fuck the world. Mm -hmm. Fuck the world. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. We're going to be together. I don't care what nobody say. I'm going to be happy. If that man makes me happy, by golly, that's who I'm going to be with. What about the men that repeatedly cheat on their women and they take them back? I mean, it's... Now, it's... at that point, it becomes dangerous for my health. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? It's unhealthy for me. And if you're going to be disrespectful, like I say, the first thing you got to have in marriage is respect. respect. If we ain't got that, we don't have nothing. Mm -hmm. Like, it's a way to cheat that I could probably forgive you. Like, if some shit happened and you came home and you apologized, whatever. But if you disrespect, like, you cheat with my sister or my best friend, <laughs> it, it's Rico. And, yeah, yes, and yes. I'm going to say this and I'm going to step on a limb. If you with a nigga, <laughs> <laughs> you with a man. But, Dr. Heavenly, what I got to make you spend that? money. Is that is that wrong to say? <laughs> what? No, no, no. That's perfectly Please, fine. Okay. The gay community won't be offended okay. by that. <laughs> Um, Thank you. But I mean, I might got something. To, you know, my might could do something yours can't. You know, I got this certain day soleil over here. I, I got this, I think that, um, this acrobatic, you know, this acrobatic box. Like, I, I think that sex <laughs> is probably more mental than yeah. anything. So okay. the acrobats you do and keep doing them, I don't got to do it because I got his mind, bitch. Okay. That's Cheers to that. This was a really good conversation, Dr. Heavenly. And we're going to end it here. Hopefully, I didn't offend anybody. I didn't. <laughs> but uh, this is Heaven Help Us on our segment. And we're going to do another segment next week. We'll do another segment on next week. On something else. Okay? All right. Good See night. See y'all soon. Go! Oh.